Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues. Of course, as we are beginning as the Enclave, using the updated version of Old World Blues, which includes the Supply Map Modes, which is kind of why I wanted to play as the Enclave again. Um, I played as the Enclave literally like seven times, I think, but I wanted to try the Old World Blues out again with the Supply Map Mode update. And I figured, you know what, let's go back to the Enclave. And to the disappointment, I'm sure, of some people, we're going to go with the Purity Route, which I don't think has anything changed since the last time I played it, but it's been a while since I've done this, and I wanted to play the Enclave again and see what Old World Blues is like with Supply. But, years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survived can still be felt today. Maybe you about the 3.2 caps update, please go ahead. But, escape. Years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survived can still be felt today. We did what? Fought our way out with power armor? We lose some manpower. We escape uh, using or during using vertebrates. Ooh, like, ooh, we're gonna need some vertebrates. I'll be honest, we're gonna need some vertebrates, especially if, if I'm gonna para drop and destroy uh, NCR. Even though I want some extra divisions, Enclave Veteran sounds very nice. Ooh, but extra gun sh gunships. Oh god, I love gunships. I forget. Also, uh, because this is early enough, um, I will ask for you guys. Like, let me know. Um, it, I've said stuff in the past Enclave campaigns where. I said I'd do something the next time I play the Enclave. I can't remember exactly what I said last time. So if there's anything I said I would do this time for this type of campaign, let me know in the comments because I'll read your comments and uh, try to try to do it. Because I always forget exactly what I said in previous campaigns, what I do in future campaigns. But, Surgeon Dornan, as well respect by both the Reformers and Pierce factions within the Enclave. The Enclave needs the President, however, and the Sarge expressed his interest and he called to serve for the rest of his career. It works for a living, gosh darn it. And we'll decide this in just a little bit. Our president. We made our choice, and the choice will change the future of the Enclave if we are successful. America. But who really is the man we elected? Well, let's see. Ooh, I don't want to lose any more division or any more manpower, but. Mm hmm. That's a lot of divisions. Oh, but gunships. It's going to take so long to get. Actually, can we produce gunships? I'm not setting anything up here. God dang it. I think we can, and we do need those transport planes. Ah, uh, you know what? We're going to use as many Enclave divisions as possible. Screw it. We're gonna lose that manpower. We'll see what it's like. What they're like. Now, are you good? You guys are twenty combo with. No, I. I'm, I'm assuming here, and our normal enclave division is actually twelve and a half combo with, which is not bad power for the tune. But I forget. I'm pretty sure that this campaign will end up using um, the meta, like that is most currently usable in Heart Vanilla Hoi Four. So like eighteen combo with, or like twenty seven combo with, not twenty combo with anymore. I could be wrong, but. Oh. Motorization, huh? Anyways, we're on the very borders of the NCR, a rogue nation occupying American soil. We cannot deny that we they would destroy us if they became fully aware of our existence. Luckily, for us, the bear is blind, and we can buy bureaucracy and finding an ineffectual leader. With the right efforts made, we can hide under the very nose of the NCR until we're strong enough to reveal our plans, but we cannot keep them in the shadows forever. It'll become harder and harder to conceal ourselves as time goes on. And I don't want to touch that until we are forced to touch that, so our presidente. Now it says we have doctrines available, but we don't really have anything available here at all. Sergeant Dorn is well respected by both the Reformer and Pierce factions of the Enclave, nevertheless, neither seems a viable president have presented their own candidates. The Pierce has selected Franklin Anderson as a candidate, while the Reformers are led by Douglas Granite. It appears the Pierce faction has the advantage, but the support of the Sarge could still tip the scales in favor of the Reformers. As much as I want to do this one, Sergeant Dorn endorses and supports Franklin Anderson. Welcome aboard, Franklin Anderson. Purity. Because I like them pure. Even after all these setbacks, our vision for the re return of the true humanity is not yet wavered. In fact, most of the weak-minded and defeatists have already left our midst. We'll purify the mutants from this world and reclaim our beloved homeland at any costs. We add purists, less manpower, mobilization speed goes up, we get more recovery rate, we lose stability, and get enclave efficiency. Anderson's past. Now, I don't remember which way we did this one last time. Oh, crap. Unbreakable will. You know, we'll save anyways. Anderson's past. Dr. Franklin is a former member of the Enclave's Chemical Corps. The good doctors recently escaped from 30 years of imprisonment and servitude as first a non-person prisoner in Shady Sands Darkest Hall, then a slave to a tribe, and then, of course, another sl as a slave in Re New Reno. Since his return to freedom, he has championed the ideals of the Enclave of old, purity, supremacy, and the reestablishment of America. Firmly involved in several secret projects during the presidency of Dick Richardson, notably the FEV experiments of Mariposa and the creation of Frank Corrigan, he seeks to finish what he and his colleagues started four decades ago, the eradication of mutant menace that dares his tread upon the American soil. When he was a young scientist, he distinguished himself as... what? Oh, this one's playing. I don't know, this one's okay. Let's go to another one. Holy Fathers. Stared down a rampaging Frank Corrigan until he could be subdued. Unbreakable will. Pioneered a new composition of the common stim pack via self-testing. This is only 5%. Sought out test subjects for this chemical core on the mainland. 
We get more support of Oligarchy, too, which is not bad. We're the purest faction, which are elites, so... It's not bad. Unless they go up faster, faster, it's not bad. Recovery rate or stability? I like the stability thing. Stability is actually really, really, really important to get, but... Hmm. Most scientists leave the dirty work to the soldiers, but Anderson opted to accompany them to the mainland, sharing in the company and dangers. Respected by soldiers. Unbreakable will. I don't want to go respected by soldiers. Sold into slavery. After decades of NCR imprisonment, Anderson was forgotten about. He was one of the many undocumented prisoners in the NC NCR bureaucracy. Moved from prison to prison until eventually an enterprising warden sold him and other unmarked prisoners into slavery to Kimmelt Station. Ooh. The 80s. Ooh. Three vehicle technologies is not bad, but Kimmelt Station medical technology? <sighs> uh, we're not really going to use medical technology too much. We'll, we'll, it'll be helpful, but let's go vehicles. Anderson's escape while slave. Anderson was kept the most physical labor due to his knowledge of chemistry. Being able to turn rudimentary scavenge items into poisons and bombs, he was deemed useful by his captors years later. When age started taking its toll on Anderson, they decided to bring him to New Reno, hoping that Mordinos would be interested in an old but empty chemically gifted slave. Much of surprise when the party neared New Reno, he organized the other slaves into uprising. Ooh, killed his captors using in their sleep using a gas. Ooh, oh, actually that could be extremely useful. 5% more recruitable population is going to be extremely important to use. But resourceful, supply consumption, because, oh, that's going to be really bad for us. You know what, the easy way would be inspiring. He's respected by soldiers. You know what, I'll, this might not make you easier. I want to do supply consumption. Tw minus 20%. This is better to do overall. It's just better to do. So we're not going to do that one. Remember the rig. Oh, we need to purge the opposition, of course. So, Enclave Radio, more daily PP would be good. Point one. Yeah, I want to get more daily PP. Don't get radio. We can rebuild the powerful radio beacons of the Sierra Armored Depot, which will allow us to broadcast our signal across the wasteland. This will be invaluable for organizing long-distance expeditions, as well as reaching any remnants still loyal to the Enclave. And if you're worried about the followers of the Apocalypse, please go right ahead. Yeah, no hostile decisions. Yeah, no, they got to they got to leave. We don't want we don't want them here. Uh, 0.72 every single day. Uh, caps, we don't really get caps, so. Um, raid supplies. I'm gonna wait. Divert the supplies. And, eh, that's gonna be bad, but we're gonna do placate the followers. No, no, no. We don't want that one. Do some bribes and threats. We can obtain a small portion of the followers' stockpiles, allowing them to be used by our army. Eh. Yeah, why not? We'll see what happens. Oh, what is this? Is that stability? Wow. That's not worth it. Purity, though. That's worth it. And, of course, we can go to war the 80s whenever we want, but let's not do that. Followers are established. Well, let's get rid of them. Or organize the troops. Look at more. Twenty percent more pop. Oh wow. Enclave military. That's nice. Contact the remnants. It's political power to call home straight enclave remnants is manpower. Mariposa. Protectors of humanity. God bless the enclave. Oh yes, please. Remember the rig. And then our Sierra Army Depot. We do probably need to go to war pretty soon. Put the airship. Oh wow! Look at all that technology we get. Nice. Purge opposition. Oh, Tignor Arena. There it is. Well, with morale improving, it's time to look outwards and prepare the liberation of the mutant occupied territory surrounding us. Many of which are sitting on military equipment caches of indispensable value to our goals. We'll begin with New Reno, our old hiding place. Yeah, I don't know why this has popped up. I mean, we're going to go down refined warfare, but followers rejected. I haven't worked out we've been we've been behind successive attempts, too. Undermine their influence and steal their supplies. The followers of the apocalypse have finally got our own tired of our antics and left their land. While they're still happy to tend our civilian and bases set up around the border, they refuse to step inside our nation to protest. We say good riddance. The anarchists kind of no business here except attempting to overthrow us. Their people are somewhat annoyed at our choices of action, but at least they'll no longer be swayed by the followers' propaganda. We did well. Oh, okay, weekly war sport. Is that for the rest of the game? No, 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 that's not. I, I, I thought we would, but okay. I got excited for no reason, but we have enclave efficiency, which is not bad. We have purists, thank God, protected by the Sierra Auto Depot. Oh, if it were to fall, you'll have some time to claim it before the game is, is over. Oh, wow. Power armor expertise, very nice. Enclave scientist, very good. And then political infighting, not bad. Not great. Not, I'd rather not have it, but whatever. Ah, good old research. It's been a while since I've done this at the time of this recording, so. Um, is this still not as good? Pro growth is okay. I'm not too upset about growth. 8% output. Ooh, that's even better output. Let's see. Growth. Max factors in state. But that, gets, that gives you more max factors in state. What do you prefer more fac factors in the state or more output? Hmm. Replicators? Well, standard technology construct. Robotic workers are nice. You say replicators? And I want to replicate myself. So. Work is needed. Work assignments. Honestly, let me go work assignments. You know what? Let's try something else. I always choose the other ones. Let's try that one. 
I want to try things that I don't always normally try, but sometimes we do. Yeah, I'll get the glider too, because we can. Yeah, we can actually make divisions here, huh? Oh, wow. I guess this isn't exactly lining up perfectly, but whatever. Very weird, but okay. 12 and a half. Of course, we have Enclave PA Infantry, which is even better. Um, we need a lot of power armor. Follow us. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, I have to hide still. Well, we'll see what we can. We can bribe officials. Our ancient disappearances of technocracy. Former's 49%. It's still going up, which is nice. Nice, nice. 28. And we have some water. No coffee here today, but some water. Ah, uh, if we have to, so be it. More PP, please, thank you. And take Narina, because we can. I want a little bit of conflict in our life. Clearing out the natives. The ultimatum. Take Vault City. Ransack the labs. Reorganize our troops. We need more stability. Contact the remnants. Eh, more army XP would be really good. Okay. Three field veterans' decisions, uses. They have to be equipped. Mariposa. Syria Armor Depot. More political power would be very good, so. Anyway, we could remember the reg as well. War support. Eh, yeah, war support would be pretty good. But it doesn't really matter too much, does it, right now? The Syria Armor Depots remain relatively unlooted thanks to its automated defenses. They should respond, too. Our military access codes, leaving us free to access unspoiled lower levels of the depot to set up our new base of operations. One of our patrols stumbled upon expeditions of the Crimson Caravan. The squad leader less trigger happy than some has reported back requesting orders on how to proceed. The caravan is not close enough to confirm that they are faced with unclad power armor specifically, but rumors that suspicious patrols in Nevada desert could reach the NCR nonetheless. Leave them be. No witnesses. Resourceful. Order patrols to use T-51 power armor from now on. Suspicion will go down by 10. Currently 20. This will not happen again. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to lose any more stability. It's already... 4% is pretty god-awful. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty bad. But we're going to take Narina if we can. We do have 8 divisions, and we should... Honestly, be able to do that pretty easily. Pretty darn easily. Then we could win really easily and really quickly, or we could grind up on the enemy. Eh, we'll see. Oh, let's go in. Oh, hello. Oh, the trade note thing. It's been so long since I played Old World Blues at the time of this recording, so... Oh, look at that. We need caravans, vehicles, and convoys. Oh god, supply's gonna be probably really bad then. Go for Nixon. Tricky dick. After that one. Remember the rig? War support would be nice. Four decades ago, our base of operations was sabotaged. Many of our old guard lost comrades and family in the ensuing explosion. The act has gone unavenged in decades since. But we have not forgotten. Energy sales, of course. Disloyalty. We're receiving reports of an enclave officer openly disrupting our leadership, going as far as loudly claiming that the recent elections were fraudulent. Uh, round up the officer and everyone involved with him. Find the man and make an example of him. We have more important matters to attend to. Uh, it's not bad. I think you lose all that map. You know what? Uh, there you go. We don't lose any manpower that way. Get more. Technology. Even though I would like to have extra political power, but I don't want any. Okay, there we go. Where are we at? 63% is pretty good. There you go. Not bad. I want you to keep beating him up because we need more uh, army XP. Even though those are not going to give us very much. I'd rather have it than not, so. And then reprogramming army defenses. Two light robots are formed. Oh, okay. Well, kind of energy weapon, power armor. Actually, we probably need those resources. So those are archives. We don't want to produce any garbage, though, right? Oh, gunships are pretty nice. Our new base of operations will be really good for stability, but we're going to remember the rig next. Yeah. That'd be for the best. Now we just do that. Make it easy on us. Hey, Lord of the West. We're considered a major power now. Nice. Follow the new Reno, nice. Oh, we won. Look at that. Great. Like I said, not a lot of uh, political power, but or industry lawless wasteland. After the disaster on the rig, and the, the wasteland remains popular by freaks and mutants who pervert all that humanity holds dear. Given the few remaining humans who hold the Enclave's cause, it is difficult to properly subjugate the monsters. We can set several different occupation policies, including one to exploit resources, and another which lets us dismantle their so-called factories and relocate them to the Syria Armor Depot via decision. I understand how to deal with them. How do we relocate factories? If our occupation policy set to data dismantle factories, we can transfer factories back to the Sierra Armor Depot, of course. We'll run out of facilities eventually, so we may be forced to pursue other alternatives. 
Note that as the resistance increases, the states will fall from our control and become part of the lawless wasteland, the natural state of the mutants. But how do we reclaim the lawless wasteland? If resistance rises to 25%, and a state controlled by the Enclave, it will revert to the lawless wasteland. While we can move through the lawless, lawless wasteland, we cannot exploit it yet. This may change as we recover pre-war robotic technology. And if we deploy a garrison to the state, we can control it. We will need to make sure that we can hold on to it or revert it to a lawless wasteland. Okay. God, I hate mutants. Who doesn't? So here we are at Occupied Territories, no occupation. Enslave Ooh, we can enslave locals. Daily compliance gain. Well that would would that really matter? Oh, so we'll do that one. And we will remember the rig eventually. How do we get cores? Ransack the labs, purify the city. Um I don't remember how to do that. Oh, boost your power armor cap, that'd be pretty good. Oh, research slot too. Because we do need to do what? Poison the bear. Uh, lessons from the war. Cloning. Oh, we definitely need this one. Cloning experimentation. We'd absolutely have to get that one. Cloning at the natives. Oh. That's just a plus. Ultimatum. God bless the enclave. God, veterans. Open the vaults. I forget. Oh, can we not court? Maybe we can't court. Plasma weaponry. Streamline power armor. Ooh, I like both. Slave labor. Oh, I love slave labor. Collar slave labor. Ooh. Daily compliance. Would it be possible for us to actually do enslave the locals? Would that be possible? Oh, and he completes slave labor. Okay. So we can't quite do that. So basically. No compliance gain. You might as well just do that one for now. And then we're going to have to hang out like right over here for now as well. So we need to go on the left side as fast as possible and get and start getting some more compliance. At least that's what it looks like. Anything else around here? Ooh, good refugees. Don't really care about that part, but whatever. So with that in mind, we got to rush down here. So rebuild the airship first, I guess. Hidden deep underground is the Sierra Armor Depot's second hangar. Is that an act as a contingency plan? Hold several... Within several VB O2s, and the means to keep them running as smoothly as a day they were entombed. Nice. Oh, we can, oh, we can still do scorched earth. That's nice. For love lock? No, we're good. Oh, this is going to go really high, ain't it? Bribe them? No, we're good. I deal with these guys. Oh. Deal with the Van Graffs. Come and interview weaponry. Deal, make a deal. We'll probably just deal with them. Uh, let's see. Ooh, good. Anything else up here? Bribe them? Wasn't there something else we're supposed to do here? Oh, retool machinery, of course. Executive orders and stuff like that. We need more stability. Well, hold small speeches. Military exercises. Oh, we can do this stuff too. I forgot about spending our PP here as well. I'm going to race down this side if we possibly can. Hmm. Or, remember the rig? I like that one a lot. The ultimatum. I would love to do that one if we could just do that. Army strength rates to 200% or more compared to them. Uh, uh, I guess we'll do that one. Economic advisors. That's not bad. Benjamin Curling. Daniel Shakey, of course. Beauregard. Who's over here for culture advisors? Art Sergeant Jordan, of course. Boris T. Felix Grayson. Um, Joshua Morgan. How much political power do you get? 0.58. That's not good. Ooh. Deal elite support. Resistance growth speed. Resistance target. Only T.M. Wilkins. I like that guy. We're definitely going to grab him. Who's over here? Because we do need to get some more. Well, of course, they have India Nidel, but they don't have daily army XP. Okay. Okay. I'll well, see. Okay, there's daily army XP. There's that one. Look, like we got to go there pretty quickly. And what's over here? Vehicle designer quality. Ah, quality versus quantity. You know what? I always ask you guys this when I do this, these campaigns. Let me know. Should we do quality? Quality PA team? Or should we do quantity? I kind of prefer quality, but I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. We're on Navarro Veterans, which is also very good. Love it. Especially for this type of campaign. So, honestly, I think we should be start working on that stuff. But isn't there a way? we got to deal with Van Graaffs ourselves. Let's deal with them first. We're not going to make a deal with them. Just kill them off. Mm, I want the resources from here. Military exercise would be good, too. Now I guess trade knowledge, bank graphs, popularity, energy weaponry, construction speed, family vaults. That wouldn't be bad, but whatever. Just going around expansion and the caps economy. We don't really care too much. All right, so let's grab some more daily army XP because we're gonna need that. 
That'd be very nice. And maybe get some more stability out of this as well. Right now, we can't make anything. Yay! Uh, actually, where's Reno? So we take New Reno with a city of crime, and this side we can't do anything here, which is fine, whatever. Yeah, we get a war goal. All lining up the night. Nevada. Contact the veterans. Hiding in New Reno. Requisition resources. Recognize Vegas autonomy. Model communities. Okay, so we don't get free cards enough. Okay. Protectors of humanity. Remember Navarro. Um, no, just for Wargo's sense. Boost your power on cap. We need to purge the opposition as well, though. And how do we do that? More than 80% support for the purest faction. I can know as soon as we're going to that. Please go ahead. We're programming the robot defenses. Let's go with this one. Excavating the lower levels. Our, uh, our military codes give us access to parts of the depot that are almost entirely untouched. Let us open the old armory and maintenance storages and salvage what we can. That'll be nice. Reduce research shifts. Eh, 66%. It's not bad. Unlicensed muti hunt. It appears that one of our vertebrate assault teams is going out of the way to inflict collateral damage on mutants. During the patrols, going as far as tallying and counting the vertebrate. While their actions could risk operational security to the Enclave, punishing them may prove an unpopular move considering the current state the stance on mutants. Make an example of them? They're in court martial. This may happen again. Boys will be boys. Well, if it's going to go up anyways, um, I'd rather not lose any more manpower, so thank you. We save those 27 boys. You're welcome. Reduce research shifts. Weekly worst will go up, but we want more stability. So, which one's stability here? Factory output. Reduce admin shifts. Yeah. Military exercises. We're going to need some political power over here, too. Um, you know what? We're going to remember the rig first. Get the political power so we can do that one, too. Yeah, that'll be good. And then recovering the archives? Yeah. Actually, we're going to excavate the lower levels anyway, so we'll wait that. Just give it a little bit of time first. Address the nation. Rumors of half-mutant. Rumors have been spreading that a respected administrator of ours is half-mutant. Like many of our younger personnel, was born years after the fall of Navarro to surviving enclave soldier and a mysteriously absent mother. Huh. If these allegations are true, he may be a serious risk to our, uh, our security. Top secret. Mm, these ones, enclave radio brackets are not worth it. No compromise, no mercy. They're just rumors. Nope. We will not take that risk. I refuse to take that risk. Well, can we actually enclave? Can we power it up? Can we actually power it up? Yeah, we'll see. I remember the rig. Oh, an enclave military officer is not bad. Yeah, it's not going up fast enough. Well, faster, 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 faster. But hey, look at that army XP. Good stuff. So we had to choose someone here. Intervention is max. Send volunteers. Oh, hello. Oh, ah. Lawless wasteland. Stop an outpost. Bring it under our direct control. Set resistance 20. Becomes owner and controller of New Arena Oscars. Command power. It's fine. That's gonna go back up, isn't it? Yeah. So we just let it kind of let it go that direction for now. Drop an attacker. Ooh, support equipment would be nice. Yeah, I'll make sure we actually get that stuff done. Yeah, where is the ability to just take the resources? I want to I want to take these factories. But it's not over here. Or maybe I'm being just being dumb. Maybe I'm just being dumb about it. I don't see it though. Hmm. Remember the rig? Yeah, we definitely gotta get to enslave the locals fast. Oh, and here we are. Nationwide assimilation, don't care. There you go. Covering the archives. Contact the remnants. Blocking. That's not bad. Resume FEV trials. I'm gonna get other slots too, so reprogram the robot defenses. The automated defense of the Sierra Armored Depot is kept is safe. Or vault is safe from the looting for two centuries until the return of the rightful owners. Let us suggest a programming of the most operational machines to serve as a field division. Might as well. Yeah, look at that. Now we have none of this stuff. Great. Establish an outpost. Service resistance is 20. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. 
70%. All small speech. Military exercise will be good, though. Do we get any more? We have 33% war support. Not much. Obviously, we'll take it. Still. Strap bots. Division training time. Protectors of humanity. Ooh, more organization. Recruitable population. More stability would be nice. Ooh. Let's reprogram the bots first, though. Actually, what does this one modify? Purist. Oh, I'll get more of those. This one. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. I need to submit refugees. Follow the apocalypse rejected. Disloyalty. We're receiving reports of an enclave officer openly disputing our leadership, going as far as loudly claiming that the elections were fraudulent. Crap. That's all I have to say is just crap. Well. I want to do this one, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get up there soon. Ay, ay, ay. Economic advisors. Research speed daily elite. Uh, that would be bad. Army stuff like that. Let's see. I'll put it over here. Dornan. Intellectuals. That'd be a waste of time. I don't mind hurting our consumer goods. We can't even, are we building anything? We sort of are. But 15% more political power be, can be quite nice. Especially if we keep them on here for the entire time. But this is pretty good too. That's pretty nice. But we don't really need the resistance stuff right now, right? Eh, we could use them, but... You know what? If we keep it for long enough, 50 political power for a guy gives us... How much more? Almost 0.3 every day? It's not bad. Actually, for the reformists, minus 5% would be bad. Yeah, we, we, we can't afford to have them getting bigger. 72% is pretty good, though. Alright, so to that one, recovering the archives. Much of our research was lost in Navarro, Poseidon, and a resulting exodus. Even our communication protocols had to be reestablished. So let us salvage what we can from the servants, or servers, and our archives of the Sierra Army Depot. Surely some of this information is suitable for our purposes. Went down to three still, not bad. Yeah, that's not good. We're going to definitely need way more stuff here. Not bad that for that, but still. In the economy, capture the Warren. Well, the Warren's gone. Vehicle designers, vertebrate design team. Oh my gosh, I love that. Fighter design teams. Yeah, no. Gunships. If you can make your gunships even more reliable and make them even cheaper. Oh my gosh. You're going to get me way too excited for this. I love the gunships. Energy weaponry, industry technology. Nice. Good stuff. And we need more than 80% support. We're actually getting close, actually. Support coming good. Good. Robotics. Ooh. Oh, basically, this is a basic caravan equipment. We definitely need to make these. Oh, I did. that's new. Nice. I like that. Uh, cybernetics. Nothing here yet. We'll get there eventually, though. And encryption. Hey, I actually made two divisions. Not bad. There you go. You can be commanded by Jacob Dwemer. Ooh, but here's a former. No. No, we're good. Mary, Lieutenant Mary Orwich. Cafeteria incident. Disturbing photographs have been circulating among cafeteria staff involving one of the staff members intentionally handling ingredients improperly. Look at a show of finding and punishing the man. But more important matters to attend to. Oh, we need that PP. I'm going to grab that PP. Uh, the other one was obviously a better choice, but like, we need that political power now. Not to exercises. Nice. More army XP, which we need for literally, quite literally, for land doctrine and oligarchy. Nice. Good. Woodworking is good too. And there you go. Alamo chapter. Oh, it's been a while since it's been so long since I played Old World Blues, man. So long. Ranchers. Per military theory committee. Oh, that'd be good as well to do so. Alright, so now we're at 80%. I hope we can purge the opposition. There are many in our midst who do not share our vision for the future. They must be dealt with. Because we could really use that extra political power, division organization, recovery rate, and stability, and our former advisors are purged. Are executed on false charges. Well, false charges? What do you mean, false charges? Are you kidding me? Those are not false charges. Alright, so we gotta help and bribe from them again. <sighs> always bribing, always hiding. Actually, 40. That's unfair. We don't own this. So, this should be so lawless, right? AI should not be able to figure out that we're actually over there. That's not cool. There you go. Advance. Ooh, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yeah, look at all that good stuff. Oh, we can't even make anything. God dang it, but whatever. <laughs> we have any money at least? Bottle caps? No, we got no cash. Refugees? I don't know that. Well, I guess, technically, I guess they would want to settle in the lawless wasteland if if they knew that there could be a potential promised land or whatever. I guess it makes some slight sense, but still. Protectors of humanity would be very nice for stability. Uh, which we'll get, hopefully, some more. Yeah, we'll definitely get some stability there. Remember Navarro? Yeah. 
Maybe more population stability. Organization. Pretty good. New base of operations. Wow. In parts of the base remain in disrepair, we found ourselves an excellent base of operations for now. We can dedicate some of this machinery left here towards producing equipment. Not a bad idea. Also, if I'm screwing this up, I'll probably replay this off screen. So we got to be careful. We don't want to spend any army XP because I've done that before and I've used it all up and it's just not a good time when you screw it up. I'm not saying you guys screwed up, but I definitely screwed it up in the past. And I don't want to repeat the mistakes Douglas Granite deserves. Granite has taken a few of his most devoted supporters and deserted the Enclave in the vertebrate last night. Support for the performance is dwindled with the disappearance of the leader. Good riddance to them. I'm I'm not going to lose a single single man. Nice. Oh, Technoxy goes up by 20%. That's a fat number. That's a chunky number. Mama chunksters. There we go. Nice. There you go. They're, they're completely gone. Their former faction is dead. We love it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you'll go there and then... Ooh, power armor production. Oh, God. I mean, we don't need one 10 year ahead of time penalty reduction for power armor. Do We, we don't really need that, do we? I mean... Uh, I guess technically we can get power armor at Mark twos. We get a blueprint, and make it, you know, get it sooner. We already have mass drivers. Do we have the thing for plasma? We need plasma weaponry schematics. We can't get the Gauss rifles, but we will need plasma schematics. So is plasma worth it? Is that the new sound? Is, is that a new sound in Old World Blues? I'm not used to that sound. Oh, we actually have stability now. We have one, over one political power a day. Nice. Not bad. Uh, I have to make the choice now, though. Plasma weaponry. Uh, production cost goes down by 30%, though. It's only 30%. You can make our power armor 30% better. And boost your power armor cap. That, that's just better overall. We have to go that way. As much as I want plasma weaponry, by focusing our efforts on energy weapon production, we can improve abilities to produce them quickly. I mean, it's still, it's still infantry equipment, but... We have to raise our power armor cap. I want an army of just, like, nothing but power armor. By focusing our efforts on power armor production, we can begin to further advance and further improve upon the venerable T-51B, X-01, even the X-02 power armor systems, further widening the gap between ourselves and those who dare steal American military assets. This one, I don't know, both are great. I love both of these focuses. But boosting your power armor cap, that is absolutely mandatory, in my opinion, if you're playing as the Enclave. So, it would be, I would say, at least in my opinion, a little bit better balanced if the plasma technology focus had a little bit more to offer than what it just had. Ah, crap! Ah, you know what? We just did that. Um, see, I just spent all that army XP. I'm going to go back and make sure we don't spend that army XP in just a little bit. But yeah, um, realistically, I think this should be balanced out. Maybe either, I don't want them to t the devs to take away the power armor cap. Give the plasma weaponry maybe just a, something a little extra to sweeten the deal compared to doing the other focus. Slave labor by enslaving the ab humans. Well, they or ab human mutants. We, they can be of use in the rebuilding of America, finding some purpose to their wasteful existence and servitude to us. Yeah. Oh, we lose quite a bit of population, but we get factory output and docket output. Or let me get some of it back though. Pioneered by pre-war scientists as an effective method of control in prison camps and research experiments. This will, this will allow us to control the slave populace more efficiently with minimal risk. Oh, I can't wait. So we can actually get some of this territory back. That'd be so useful. Uh, and super mutant slaves. Well, that's not bad. But as much as I want to do this stuff, immediately, um, estimated army strength to ratio, I don't mind killing them off. Reopening the Sierra, uh, Sierra Laboratory. Deep underground in the Sierra Army Depot is what remains of a lab focused on biological warfare here amid the ruins. It's a single vial of curling, too, a precursor to the lethal toxin lost during the destruction of the Poseidon oil rig. <sighs> the perfect human. Ooh, that's not bad. More attack, organization, defense. Nice. Also, this is, I, what I did off screen was kind of a waste of, uh, well, political power. But I decided to grab this guy, Randolph Hyman. It's only 15% of our army XP gain. We're re I'm really just big gun gunning for more land doctrine. Um, so we get 0.19 because we already get the other guys. So it's a kind of a waste, sort of. But at the same time, like, artillery taking defense is okay. We're probably not going to use Bren Rad Neo. Probably not going to use Division Attrition or Fleet Logistics. or eh, that's really not bad. But we we'll probably go with this guy. Entrenchment speed is just not worth it, in my opinion. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we did get... Uh, Concentration of force, so there is that. Up next, who do we also want? Economic advisors, popular pragmatists. Now we're good. Army energy cell consumption minus ten percent is pretty good, though. That's pretty decent. Reduce speed, war support. We don't really need that anymore. Uh, Sergeant Dorn will be pretty good to get, and we did get uh, more political power. Uh, and we got nice. So now we can do this. Let's see, seventy-one percent is pretty bad. Seventy-nine percent is pretty bad. Now yeah, we got it back. There we go. Now that's not bad. So. 
if we should be able to do all this stuff, right? We can get all back, hopefully. Have, like, no issues, right? And then... I love enslaving the locals. Oh, you're gonna be leveled up, huh? That's disabled. Yeah, what else? What else do you expect from humans? Um, we organize the troops. More than 30% stability, more recruitable population. Be Nash. Or organize the engineers. That's not bad, too. Expand. Ex oh, extend the beacon. That's not bad. More daily. That's a lot more political power. Holy fat fathers. Reorganize our troops. Decades of separation and isolation have wrecked havoc on our military organization. Let us formalize our chain of command and combine the several separate band under the leadership to United Enclave Armed Forces. Very nice. Might as well get that done because you can. Don't really have to, but whatever. Barrage balloons. There you go. We made it. Goodbye. And hopefully we can get quite a bit more compliance here, but we'll see you, boy. Unlikely marriage. Oh, if you want to know about this, please go ahead. Oh, twin mothers, Diane. I like it. Okay. Well, that's going to suck. Uh. Well, crap. What if? I use auxiliaries. Uh, actually, which one's better to use? Auxiliaries or militia? Because these guys are doing whatever they're doing. 200 equipment for, was that, 8? That's so hard to read. 8 suppression? Or 72 equipment for 8 suppression. Yeah, use a militia. That's better. 5.57 are needed. Well, we did drop it down a little bit more. Oh, we can maybe get a little bit of compliance. Oh, yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of compliance. Not bad, not great, but not bad. I don't want to use any more manpower for this. But we might have to. Do we have enough guns for it, at least? Uh, not really. Oh, we have one in stockpile, though. Hopefully we'll get her done. Um, resistance. Actually, now would be a good time to get that the resistance guy. Cabinet of Industry. This stuff is not bad, but, you know, whatever. Uh, resistance. Where'd he go? Respected by the scientists. Ah, here he is. Colonel T.M. Wilkins. Yes. Resistance growth goes down by 25%. Better resistance target. More war support. More daily elite support that we don't really need that last one on, but... Now this should be looking quite a bit... Oh my gosh. Oh, so much more growth. Oh, is it jumping up by two? By one. By one. Oh, that's so good. Enslay the locals. Oh, you better enslave them hard. Economic resistance creatives. Yay! We don't really need to do this, but we'll do it anyways. Yeah, there you go. Congratulations. Don't waste your money. Uh, but then, yeah. We organize the troops. We want the extra political power, because we still have to hide from the NCR, unfortunately. I hate the NCR. With a burning passion. Refugees. We don't give a crap about refugees here. <laughs> Real or otherwise. Ah... <laughs> uh, what is this? Deploy high water high water trousers. Uh, was both a pre-war fashion trend and an orbital weapons platform for the Great War. With their uplink at Cedar Armor Depot reestablished, we can use this strike to strike out the mutants of the waste. High water trousers has question mark Hercules valleys remaining. How many times do we have this? Offensive and defense. Ooh, breakthrough strength damage taken minus twenty percent. Ooh, is that is that forever or is that not forever? Ooh, well, I'm very interested. I'm excited. Uh, we did get quite a bit more stability, though. That's actually really good. Production shifts. L lose war support. Lose war support. Lose war support. Lose war support. That's not worth it at all. I want more stability. But another research slot never hurt us. Also known as Protectors of Humanity. Five research slots. Not bad. Uh, I'm probably need some of that, too. I'm feeling pretty good about this campaign so far. But we will need some more planes. More gunships. More everything. And once we enslave them fully and fast enough, we'll get some of the manpower back. Fifth, over 50% already. Oh, yes, please. That's so good. Oh, look, uh, if you want to hear about that, please go ahead. Mm. You know what? Actually, that's okay. We don't have any money, so that's fine. Whatever. Sure. Let's do whatever. Enclave Academy. Ooh. Get more organization. Ah, oh, that's already pretty good, though. I, bet, I like the better just five war goals times. And politically connected is okay. But we're going to respect Sergeant Doran. It's harder than Dornan. He's, he's a man. Go do that one first. It's fine. It just keeps costing more and more and more. It's better to do it now than when we get here, so. Oh, also, I chose the one at the beginning with the supply consumption idea. The minus 20% versus the 5% more population. Just because I don't know how bad the wasteland is. I'd better, rather be, well, relatively safe than sorry. I've heard it's really bad for supply consumption. It might change in the future, but we'll see. I I, I don't know. So, let's, we'll see. Reorganize the engineers. Our engineers have been hard at work repairing war and power armor and weaponry, but their work is ad hoc and inefficient. We can organize them in the same manner as the military to make sure that their expertise is used to its full potential. Absolutely. Yes. 
A land reduction. A research... No, research bonus. Shouldn't be a cost reduction. And we got 20% more population, which is nice, too, so... Now we're gonna go up to 20%-ish. Roughly. Not bad. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work very well. For officer core. Uh, no protect preferred. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 needs to be fixed. I, I, I We're starting this campaign with that Enclave Reborn mod. Um, just because we can, but, uh... Yeah, I thought that'd be something that we could work on, but okay, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, reduce research shifts. I like more Warsport too, but stability is key right now. Because, my god, I am just oozing over this. Oh, oh, we already 100%. Oh, god, yes. That is so nice. I love it. I love enslaving locals. Just, I love slavery so much. <laughs> oh, god, I love it. What's over here? Oh, okay, so that word over here. That makes sense. It's not bad. Well, I'll look at that again just a little bit. Um, it is 2276. Anything over here? Yeah, I'll grab that because I can. I do want to flesh out all these things. Uh, we'll definitely do that one first. Do that and then go to three. Uh, saws would be good eventually, too. What was I going to look at? Go to that stuff. Too many things. No. Battle caps. Don't care about refugees. No one gives a crap about refugees. Nice. And then, let's get some more political power, because we can. Extend the beacons. With the engineers in proper order, we can begin extending this range of power of our radio beacons. We need more war support next. So we have to get more war support. Oh, uh, you know what? Hurt research speed. Let's get the war support. We need it. Immediately. Um, let's go down here and do that one. Yeah, I, I want to go to war with the uh, these guys. I, I've never been able to do this one, which I would love to do, but... I don't think we're at 200 yet. How many divisions do they have? I'd love to just straight up annex them and bully them into submission, but we have 12. They have up to 17. We would need at least 20 divisions total, so we're not even close. So we'll, we will have to go to war, which is fine with me. I like going to war, so that's why we play Hoi 4. Go to war. Quite literally, why we do this. Um, you know what? Just send them over here as well. It's fine. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's so bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. You know what? Get that uh, guy out of here too. Match it up slightly. Ooh, that's looking pretty bad. Supply status not good. Um, supply point is Courtyard and Vault City. Those and Golconda. So those are the only three supply points that they do have, which does kind of suck. Not gonna lie. Reduce the admin shifts. Even more stability, please. Thank you. And we get we get. So we currently we get how much? 1.45 every single day, with plus 0.1 and plus 20 percent. How much do we get? Three. Oh, I was going to say three, but we have to do stuff as well. Um, so that one done. Protectors of humanity. We're the last two humans in America, perhaps anywhere else in the world. We carry on our shoulders a legacy of a thousand civilizations. We do need to poison the bear and go to war with them pretty quickly, though. Um, I do want to take out these guys, though. So we'll see. So without it in that, we get two a day. That's pretty darn strong. I love that. Protectors of humanity. As much as, If you want to do this one, please go ahead. But take Ball City. Our eyes fall on an anomaly in the wasteland, an advanced city built out of pre-war vault. Nonetheless, we should act with prejudice and subject the city to us by force. Nice. Actually, we could have just justified on them earlier, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have justified on them. Ooh, 90 days, we can still justify on them. Ooh, if they win, we can get some free territory, but that would cost even more for us to help hide. Hmm. Hmm. Now, right now, it's not more important to get extremely quality divisions. I think we just need as much power armor in the field as possible. That's really the goal, just because we're going to need a lot of power divisions to air, pair drop onto these enemies, so hopefully we'll be able to do it. Here's to hoping. So, we'll see. If I do some Pokestop off screen, then so be it. I'm, I, at this point, I'm pretty used to it, so. Alright, what do we do with our PP now? Go to advisor that guy. No, 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 here. Wow, 250? I mean, that's pretty strong. I might actually go with that guy. I like 50% more attack, though. Oh! Oh, that's so good. You know what? Let me know. Should we do Alexander Mitchell or should we go with Ezra Abbott? I don't think I usually choose this person. And that's 20% more attack and defense. Now, we only use that a whole bunch. That'd be great. Oh, that'd be really good to do, though. Clearing out the natives. Dealing with the Yakuza. The military surplus. Ooh. The Moda County military cash. Use Carson City. Sack it. Um, resources are nice. Aluminum and circuitry. Uh, aluminum. Yeah, we have enough aluminum. We'll have plenty of comp uh, composites later on. Wait, what, what happened here? What? What? Why?
What a bunch of garbage. Remember Navarro. Our older members remember clearly when the NCR and Brotherhood descended upon Navarro, cut off from the enclave leadership, they nonetheless fought bravely. When most of us escaped the slaughter, those that stayed behind the later enemies died as American heroes. It's time we remember their sacrifice. What a bunch of doo-doo. How dare you stop us. I'm gonna make you into a doo-doo monster. Look at your tool machinery, too. It's not bad. For working conditions, that's not bad, but we've got other ways to get it better. So we'll spend the political power now, later on, when the cost is extremely high and we won't be able to take everything as much as we want. Um, or won't have enough political power to stop it. We still have the operational security compromise, which is fine with us. Don't leave too early. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that would be actually good to do as well. 20 days? Um, it's not a ton. You get, like, what? 10 army XP? It's not bad. That's still not bad. I'll still take 10 army XP if I possibly can, so... Point four every day? Not great, but not bad. Yeah. And actually, you get more than just 10, because we have plus 15%, and plus another 15%, so that's actually a really good. Point eight four. That's nice. That's very nice. Chief of the Air Force? Uh, we're going to definitely go with Sterling McCulloch. Anytime we can get more, we're going to get more. Oh, can we go to war? No, we can't go to war. Pieces of garbage. Pieces of doo-doo. <sighs> nice. Alright, so after that... God bless the Enclave. This far goes time. Organization goes... Give more organization would be very nice, too. Playlux Designs. Ooh, another research slot. That'd be really good. Ooh. Daily support, research speed. Um, I think we'll probably start going this way. Mariposa Expedition next, though. Long ago, we controlled the Mariposa base and used slave labor to excavate the lowest levels, providing us with a near-limitless supply of the FEV produced there. By sending a team of researchers and soldiers to the Mariposa base, we can finally rediscover all of its secrets. Nice. Gotta be gentle. Gotta be quick. The Battle for Hoover Dam already. Ah. Yeah, I would definitely have to fight uh, the Legion eventually. Ooh, pre war designs. Ooh, US Chemical Corps. Plasma. Ooh. Oh, we don't. Ooh, do we use civilian power grid here? I don't think we do. I forget if we do or not. Vertebra design team. Um, are we actually producing? No, we're not. We need more factories and such. Doggos would be nice, though. Doggos would be very nice. Reduce admin shifts. Oh, you tempted me. Oh, I've been tempted. Oh, and sometimes I get tempted very really nicely. Oh, old World Wall holds, which makes sense. Economic Advisor. Nah. Which just be would be good, though. Armaments. This would be really good as well. Fortifications. Yeah, I don't know. Let me, who, who do you think would be good here for to choose for Economic Advisors? I don't care for any of these guys really too much. I've used D-Shaky a whole bunch. Um, actually, I've not talked to D-Shaky in a long time at the time of this recording. But yeah, D-Shaky is a good, good guy. Ran, Will, and Beauregard. Let me know who should we use here for all three economic advisors. I, it doesn't matter to me. I'll let you all decide. Hmm. Special forces, yeah. We want the best soldiers. We have the thickest, strongest, fastest, most m masculine soldiers possible. Chief of the Navy, sub detection, capture attack. This is completely worthless for us right now. Hmm. Close air support. Yeah, I want some of that cast. I'm a sucker for some good old cast. Do we lose division? No, we don't. We just shifted them over. That's right. Fake Vault City. Actually, we could just pair drop onto them. That is a plan. Yeah, we could try that. Uh, let's go and do something else. Mariposa Expedition. And let's see if we can pair drop on the them. The Mariposa Military Base. It appears that the base is even worse shaped than we left it. Some of them demolish the entire upper level, presumably using explosives. Luckily, most of the base is underground. There are alternative entrances for those who have the right access codes. Let's go. As our assault team pushes deeper into the bowels of the facility, rattling and screaming echoes through the metal corridors, it appears super mutants have survived in these depths. God knows how. Or the soldiers capture them. We'll kill the mutants on sight. Let's capture them. Absolutely. Um, actually, can you do that? I know this is very gamey to do, but I don't really care. Mariposa Expedition 3. With the first su squad super mutants taken care of, our team approaches the target of this expedition. The glowing green vats of FEV are right where we left them, although many of the cases are damaged. The FEV in these vats contaminate beyond belief. They would not be suitable for our research. With more super mutants on their heels, our team must decide what to do quickly. One vial of pure FEV is all we need. Bring whatever we can carry. Ooh. One vial is all we need. Bring whatever we can carry. Oh, heck yeah. Screw that. I don't care about losing more responsibility if it means we can bring more FEV. Oh, heck yeah. We're doing a Voltec HQ. 
Before the Great War, our government worked closely with a corporation, a corporation called vault -Tec. The underground bunkers they built may be our last hope of finding more unmutated unmu humans. Locations of these vaults were lost in time. Both reasons to believe that this information can be found in vault HQ. We can mount an expedition to retrieve it and any other valuables we find. But open the vaults. The town's coming up in the last few control vaults here, holding healthy human populations. Those that agreed to join us can be added to our cause, or be added to our numbers, and those that don't have other ish uses. Pretty much. And we all invade, just be but we have to wait a little bit just because this person is ill. I don't understand. I switched the generals around, and then even Jack Shadow Churchill got ill as well. So let's save, because it's my like, second time doing it. So we should be able to do well here, but you never know, my friends. You never know. And we should be dropping... Um, West Nevada. We got plenty too, if you like. Come on! Oh boy! And now we've done it. Deep. We're gonna need both of these. You're here, but I want you to help take out Vault City as well. Good. You got that. Nice. Up out there too. Follow Vault City. They can't stand much more. Good. 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 Take the courtyard. Come on. There we go. We got him. Ooh, that was gonna worry me just a little bit. Vault City, how many men did we lose? We lost one person. That cost quite a bit. Actually, not that much vampire. Terror for Relief is gone. Oh, well. That worked out quite nicely. Ah, oh, I should have waited to do this one, though. Ah, whatever. We'll have enough, hopefully, enough political power within 55 days. We get two a day, so 55 times two. We'll definitely have enough. Uh, there you go. A little bit of command power for that stuff. It's fine with us getting all this compliance. Oh, demand tribute. The raiders who take refuge just out of a borders have sent us a simple message, pay tribute or die. Then pay anyways, keep us safe. You can go suck yourself, Kamalt Station. Go suck yourself hard. No mute fruit for you. Nice. Um, if that's the case, Lieutenant Mary Orwood did a great job. Um, uh, Jack Churchill did okay. I'm gonna continue having them separate for now. We do need more commanders as well. But that can wait. We gotta save our PP too. So, we really wanted to. God bless the Enclave. Ooh, I'd love to do that one. Open the vaults. I want to resume FPV production. Perfect human would be good to do. War with the brother. I want to poison the bear, though. We, we declare war on them, though. They get the plague, which is not bad. Intensifying research efforts. You know, there's a lot, too. That's actually really strong. <laughs> it's ridiculously strong. Anti-brotherhood propaganda. I'd love to kill them. Oh, ransack the labs, though. Ooh, actually, purify the city. Implant access technology. Honorary humans. It would get a free core. Oh, I love free cores, though. Most of those living in the Vault City have been spared much of the mutations that have ravaged the mutants of the Wastes. The argument could carefully be made that they should be recognized as U.S. citizens rather than mutants. No. 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 They're all muties to us. Open the vaults. Ransack the labs. It's okay. Uh, I, I want to purify the, the city. Yeah. Preparing the power plant. Adds production, advanced power management, grants more. Oh, combat robot. It says red, uh, or red fifty minus fifty percent. That's bad, right? Is that bad? The red minus fifty percent. That looks bad, at least to me. Remember this because we had great news. But let's continue with re resume FPV experiments. By resuming the FPV projects of Mariposa, we'll start down a road that may very well lead us to perfection. Once America saw perfection was brought low, low far too soon. Today, we should search for production and find it, or die trying. Else over there, not really. No, um, anything over here, not really. I would like to get at least a little bit more stability if possible because now we've got plenty of political power to spend. Just a tad bit more. There you go. Thank you very much. Um, honestly, I'll probably risk the entire front just so that we can deploy faster. So, here's my thinking deployment if we can. Uh, we'll use a smaller rapid response. Power armor divisions to, I don't want to say purify, but like keep down enemies. So we'll see what happens about that, but we'll see. Hmm. Oh, like, so we can just send as many divisions out to take cores as possible. So we'll definitely wait and see. We'll probably go to war in the next episode anyway, so. Intef intensifying research efforts. Which you lose slightly more population, but we get another research slot, which is really strong. Assuming you're slaves. You lose stability war support. You get more acquired garrisons, but more construction speed. Eh, it's alright. Perfect human. Intensifying research stuff. I do want to do the Yakuza one, though. Mm. With the CR lab in proper order, we can increase the research efforts to match our ambitions. Because I don't want to do the bear. Uh, I wish you could I wish you could clone stuff first. Cloning experiments would be just so much fun to do. Nice. 
Very good. How are we doing with occupations? Oh, we're doing great. 77%, 100%, 76%. Nice. 43 resources here, huh? Just so good. Go do that too. It's fine. What are we building up? More cities, huh? It's fine, whatever. Reorganize engineers, hidden economy, motivated by vengeance. Oh, we love it. We love it. Yeah. Extra research speed. Nice. Resume the experiments. And we'll get some more uh, Warsport too. Deal with the Yakuza. How strong are they? Now they are with the... Uh, I think I left this on Ahistorical. Oh, they're with, with the Western Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, that is not good. Yeah, we definitely don't take them out then yet. Um, Antelope Tribe might be okay to take out the natives then. Modoc County. To the north are several tribes that evolved abhuman mutants who sat upon squat upon resources and are more importantly American soil. American soil. It's time to re eradicate this blight. Who gets more attack? Four or three? Eh, but you need more defense anyway, so here. Promotion for you. Honestly, for this group, um, I'm just gonna just brute force them. We could just like land in their territory, but eh. I'd rather just exterminate them ourselves for this one. Well, they do have anti tank though, but they, they can't even kill their line entirely, so. Hurt research speed? Uh, yeah, I'd rather hurt or anything else. There you go. Give more war support for now. Oh, look at that. Nice. Ten divisions of power armor. That might be enough to take all the victory points from the NCR, but we'll have to wait and see. There's no guarantee. Assassin City. Nice. And then poison the bear, the perfect human. Uh, clearing out the natives. Yeah. And of course we will run to the lab off screen probably too. Between this episode and the next. And slaves would be nice, but not really necessary yet. Ooh, we need scrap bots, of course. Oh, wait. The transfer... Oh, now! Okay, so this one we can unlock the ability in state to transfer resources to the Enclave from the Lawless Wasteland. It's not bad. At this point, we don't really need it too much, though. So... 1,000 manpower is not bad. We have 8 factories. What if we cut down on this one? And cut down on that one. We can train at least another one too. Is that really worth it though? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that's fine, but nice. Well. Simple circuitry is good. Radar because you can. Another user slot because you can as well. Well, we need scrap bots. Battlefield hierarchy, beautiful. And then the perfect human. Second goal of the FAV project was to create the ultimate soldier. Decades ago, we accomplished something close to that beat in the form of Frank Hurrigan. It's time to continue where we left off and perfect our field formula. One thing I would like to see with this focus tree... Oh, actually, we could do this one. Oh, we should probably do contact the Romans first. Is that once you go down one of these routes, the other route should just be, like, gone and hidden. So you don't have to scroll all the way through this. I mean, technically you don't have to already, but still. Contact the Romans. There are many veterans of the Enclave scattered throughout the wasteland. Let's all call upon those who are still loyal to the U.S. government to return to the fold. For this one, I just want to exterminate him. Just, just straight extermination. There you go. And I want more army XP too, so. It is what it is. Nothing but a bunch of undumped the dirty FEV. There we go. Waste not, want not. Supply consumption goes about 100%. That's extremely brutal. They have out of supply. Oh, look at all these trains. Choo choo. Oh, no, they're not trains. They're, uh. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Look at that. Oh, they're drifting. They're drifting. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could drift like that. I wish I could ride a motorcycle too. I haven't done that before yet. We'll get there eventually. Oh, so cool. Oh, there they go. Oh, they disappeared. They literally disappeared. Clearing out the natives. Contact the remnants. Before we go to war with the NCR in the next episode. Go on in. I, I want us I want us to do well here. So there you go. Tax breaks. We'll see what happens. After that, contact the veterans. You're so to be equipped afterwards. Many of the hardline veterans of the Enclave have gone to, gr to ground deeper than the, uh, even other Enclave remnants. With considerable resources, we can find these invaluable men and women and have them rejoin the brothers and sisters in arms. Actually, yeah. Yeah, 100 more army XP. Two divisions of Enclave veterans hiding come, come about. Oh, look at that. Are they going to die? Die for our amusement. Get a ho Oh, look at that army XP. That'll be really good when we started to fight the NCR, though. Raid is nice. Oh man, is that it? I wanted more time to take him out, but whatever. More chances. Oh, hello. Did you find us? 
hope not, but I think we'll probably end the episode there. Let me know, guys, as well. Should we sack Carson City? Or should we use and abuse them? Because you know me, if we can't use them, we're definitely going to abuse them. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we'll do our best to take out that dirty, filthy NCR. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.